Is that an image of me on your shirt? It is. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Yeah. Wow. And, and what, is it, what does it say? It says Neil deGrasse Tyson for president. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. So b before you ask whatever your question might be, I'd like to respond to that shirt. Mm -hmm. I'm officially... No. <laughs> no. Uh, I just realized there's a whole sector behind you guys that I can't... I, they're like... You, you're like the front line of the Green Bay Packers, you know? No, nobody can see past you guys. Um, how about... Because uh, I, I got to see people. I, I'm like looking at people back there. Oh, you guys aren't the students. Oh, forget you. No, well, we'll deal with you later. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. Uh, so, the New York Times asked me what I would do if I were president. They asked me that. At one particular time where there was this impasse in Congress, and they thought <clears throat> maybe some other professions not traditionally associated with politics, uh, maybe they have a bright idea because apparently no one else did in Congress. So, so, but my reply to them, I think, was unorthodox. Uh, I said, if I were president, I, I wouldn't be president. <laughs> because the very question, what would you do if you were president, presumes that the challenges of the nation derive from who's president and who isn't president. When in fact, we elect presidents. So if you're going to take a president and swap it with somebody else, there's still the matter of the electorate that you need to deal with. And the electorate has preferences and priorities. And so you can't just swap leaders out in a democracy. That's not how this works. So my reply was, as an educator, I would... And so, so here we are as an electorate, electing people into Congress... And Congress is dysfunctional. And we blame Congress. But we elected them. So who is ultimately to blame? We are. So I, as an educator, I'd like to educate the electorate in whatever way can help serve their decision making so that they can elect someone to office that will not end up in daily impasses bringing the government to its knees. So I have no interest in such positions, and I'm quite happy being an educator. <laughs>